but without learning the basic skills and dressing properly, it can be dangerous. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Paula Giacomo has some do's and don'ts when enjoying the outdoors in tonight's parenting playbook. Hi, Paula. Hey, Candace. Well, there are a couple of indoor ice skating rinks in Luzerne County, but only one outdoor rink, and that's on Public Square. We stopped by the venue on a very cold afternoon as lessons were taking place. I wear like two shirts, one jacket, a hat, and gloves. Eight-year-old Jimmy Corcoran of Exeter is prepared for this blustery cold day. The temperature, 23 degrees, but feels even colder with the wind chill. He's one of several people taking ice skating lessons on the ice rink on Public Square in downtown Wilkes-Barre. I just like um, gliding. You have to go where there's supervision and you have to be safe. Carol Zubris has been an ice skating instructor for 30 years and sees firsthand the dangers of hitting the ice unprepared. It's really dangerous. It breaks my heart every time. That's why a learn to skate program is essential. Basic skills, you go out there rogue and you're going to end up with a serious injury. I've seen too many, too many head injuries. That's why Carol always recommends a helmet for beginners, as well as a checklist of other things to keep you warm. Two pairs of gloves, mittens in case they get wet, or a waterproof glove. Always an extra hat, a bag with some booties, cough drops, water, keep yourself hydrated, a little blanket in case you get to wipe your ice skates down. Hand warmers help too. It's important to dress in layers and cover all exposed areas of your skin. Frostbite can set in at 31 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Your skin will turn red and feel cold to the touch. It will appear pale and feel numb, hard, or have a prickling sensation. If this occurs, seek warmth. This ice rink at Public Square will be up through March. Admission is free and the ice skates are free of charge as well. Last year we didn't have skates, so it really wasn't used that much, but we decided to purchase skates and now we can let people use them as long as they want to skate and then just bring them back. And you want to make sure that the skates fit properly. Mm -hmm. Also, practice falling on the ice so you get an idea of how to brace yourself so you can avoid breaking any limbs. And you want to keep a space between you and the other skaters. I always recall when I take my kids skating, the first thing you do, you, you lace up and you jot out onto the <laughs> ice and everyone's out there and no one's really practicing how to fall but that's like the first thing that happens if right. you're not if you're not experienced you fall and then you see people crawling to the side yes. trying to get up so that's why carol says take a lesson and just and just practice right if you get up on the right foot it can be so fun yeah you well know? you grew up on yeah skating on ponds and right so you know what it's like i do it's it's a great activity too and i like that you're talking about bundling up because when you're out there skating you get hot from right. the exercise, you don't realize maybe sometimes that you need to take a time out but from the cold. But you know how kids are. Mom, I don't yeah. need a hat. I don't right. need gloves. And <laughs> before you know it, their fingers yes. are turning cold. So I know these all sound like no-brainer tips, yeah. but it's just something to keep in mind yeah. when we do get that really cold weather, which will be coming soon, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.